Over the years, there have been several planned dinosaur video games that unfortunately never got a chance to see the light of day. Whether it's due to creative differences, a budgetary issue, lack of initial success, or just being too ambitious of a project, I've come across several examples of these cancelled dinosaur games over the last couple of years and I wanted to talk about them. So let's take a look at a few examples of dinosaur video games that were never made. Dinosaur Zoo Dinosaur Zoo is a very obscure title even for a cancelled dinosaur video game. The only real source I could find of it is an Unseen 64 article that describes the would-be game as a park management game, similar to that of a Jurassic Park building simulator. The game was being developed by an indie video game development group called Dogfish Entertainment, who, according to an IGN article, signed a deal with Sony Computer Entertainment Europe in 2001 to be a first-party developer for the PS2 console after seeing some of the prototypes and pitched ideas, one of them being Dinosaur Zoo. They would spend the next couple of years fleshing the idea out and getting as far as developing a prototype and 3D engine for the game, which was to be released on the PS2 around 2003. But ultimately, it would be cancelled, because around the same time, another dinosaur park building game was in development, that being Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, which was to be released on the PS2, Xbox, and PC. According to the Unseen 64 article, the foreseeable success of Operation Genesis was enough for Dogfish to pull the plug on their own project, resulting in their partnership with Sony to be terminated and, unfortunately, the game never saw the light of day. How the game would have looked or played is hard to say. The same article mentions that after the cancelled partnership with Sony, the Dogfish team parted ways without saving any of their video game prototypes. But we do have one concept image left by a Mark Richards that gives us a small glimpse of what the game might have looked like. It shows off a very large and mutated Tyrannosaur, which seems to be hybridized with other dinosaurs, possibly a Stegosaurus amongst others, but it's hard to say. Whether or not this is even supposed to be a hybridized dinosaur or some sort of over-stylized original creation, I couldn't tell you. Regardless, it would have been interesting to see had it been fully made. BC Moving on from a game that didn't get far into development, we have a game that did actually get decently far into development, even having trailers and images of it released to the public. This game was going to be BC, a survival game that was in development by the video game development company Intrepid Computer Entertainment, which was a satellite company to the British video game developer Lionhead Studios Limited, which was ran by English video game creator Peter Molyneux, and from what I can see, was going to be made exclusively for Xbox. It would have been set during primordial times where the player would have taken the role of cavemen who have to defend their tribe from the elements, including various species of prehistoric animals, many of them being dinosaurs. There was a lot planned for the game. The overall objective of the game was to grow your tribe in terms of both numbers and experience. The game would allow you to take the roles of different cavemen from the tribe, of which each had a unique skill set. Apparently, the game was going to function on an evolution mechanic, meaning the more you completed tasks and missions with whatever member of the tribe you chose to play as, you would increase the strength and experience of that caveman. Along with this, the player would be allowed to explore the prehistoric landscape, encountering several of the game's wildlife, including tyrannosaurs, velociraptors, brontosaurs, pachycephalosaurs, ape men, and many more. Another big part of the game was going to be the AI system it would have incorporated. The game was apparently going to have advanced AI to make their in-game animals interactive, not just with the player, but also with each other which would have given it an extra layer of life and realism. The game was also said to have a food chain system, similar to that of the 2005's King Kong video game adaptation from the Peter Jackson movie, where certain creatures would be killed by other creatures that were higher on the food chain. This genuinely seemed like a promising game, but for reasons that weren't completely definitive at first, the game was never fully finished. It was officially announced in October of 2004 that development on the BC game would be suspended. There wasn't a specific reason why, but Molyneux did mention something about hoping to revisit the game at a later point in time. 
some sites I've ran into during my research for this game have mentioned the game was cancelled due to how ambitious it was. The developers had bitten off more than they can chew, and what they were trying to accomplish was more than they could handle. According to a CBR article, this was mixed with the fact that Lionhead Studios opted to focus on a different game that they were working on called Fable. There's more to the story of BC, and I might revisit this one one of these days to tell it in full. But for now, all I'll say is that it's disappointing that it never came to fruition. Torok 2 in 2008, a new Torok game was developed by the Canadian video game company Propaganda Games and was published by Disney Interactive Studios. It's a first-person shooter that follows the titular character as he's hunting down a war criminal on a planet roamed by genetically engineered dinosaurs. Despite the mixed reactions, the game was successful enough in sales to get a sequel going. Unfortunately, that sequel would get cancelled, and the weird thing is, it was never even properly announced. The cancellation of the Torok sequel was the announcement that it even existed. That's gotta be rough for fans of the 2008 game. You're just sitting there wondering if they're gonna do anything else with the Torok IP and one day you see an online article with Torok 2 in the title and it's talking about its cancellation. While Torok 2 was apparently getting out of pre-production by the time its cancellation hit, there's not much that's been revealed about its story. There have been several pieces of art released since then, some concept art, some box art, and a piece of promotional art in the form of a poster. Some of the art depicts what the characters and their gear would have looked like, some of them being heavily armored and mechanized, and others having a more primitive getup. Based on the art, it seems the game would have taken place in a couple of different biomes, one a dense jungle and another a desert, both of which inhabit the majority of the more animalistic enemies including dinosaurs like T-Rex, raptors, triceratops, a sauropod dinosaur of some kind, along with including non-dinosaur enemies too, like saber-tooths, a serpent-like animal, pterosaurs, and even this weird-looking orc-like creature. What's also interesting are the different variants of each dinosaur the artists were experimenting with. As far as the raptors go, they made some art of one with a bit of plumage and a yellow color scheme, another one with plumage but with more of a blue color scheme, there are a couple that are more scaly and spiky, and another that had aquatic adaptations. The T-Rex underwent a few different looks as well, with a couple of desert variants, both of which are armored, but one of which is spikier than the other. More artwork shows off a slightly altered version of this T-Rex variant, then there's a couple of depictions of a more jungle based based variant of the T-Rex, one without any armor and more of a grey color scheme, and another that's more stylized with a red color scheme. There were also the Ceratopsian dinosaurs, with one of them being a Triceratops, possibly made to be more desert based just given its style and color scheme, but there's also art depicting a Styracosaurus in the jungle. The game's cancellation was announced around 2009, and according to several sources, this was due to the heavy layoffs that Propaganda Games was facing as this was around the time of the 2008 global economic crisis. In fact, in a Kotaku article, they received word from the president of the Walt Disney Internet Group, Steve Wadsworth, who said, As you can imagine, given economic conditions, every industry has been impacted on a global scale. In response to this challenging business environment, we have examined ways in which we might be able to work more efficiently. We have taken measures to control costs by freezing most open positions, deferring some capital projects, reducing support from third parties, taking significant reductions in travel and entertainment expenses, and eliminating other activities. However, in 2012, a short teaser for the game was released, depicting a scarred T-Rex attacking an outpost before zooming in on Torok's face. What this meant for the game during that time, I have no idea. But regardless of what it meant, nothing ended up happening. Then, in 2015, visual effects artist and animator Jeremy Brown, who worked on the first 2008 Torok game, released a live-action fan-made version of what was going to be the pitch trailer for the Torok sequel. According to Brown's comment on a post that he made on a video game message board called NeoGAF, full disclosure, this is a fan-made trailer I did on my own time. That said, I do have my Torok roots. I worked on Torok 2008, and this was a teaser pitch I made back during the sequel. Unfortunately, we got canned before I could get it off the ground. The one-minute trailer shows Torok sitting by his fireplace. The camera goes back and forth from Torok sharpening his knife, to the trophy heads of game that he has mounted on his wall. 
Hall, all of which is accompanied by the chants of Native Americans in the background. In the last shot of Turok's knife, the camera cuts to the last trophy hunt, revealing it to be a Triceratops head. A very cool idea for a trailer, but unfortunately, nothing really came from it. And these videos and pieces of art are the only visual references we have of what could have been for Turok 2. Second Extinction Second Extinction is a post-apocalyptic first-person shooter where mutant dinosaurs are the main enemies. It takes place in the future, and the dinosaurs that were once dormant within the Earth re-emerge and take over the world once again with players taking the roles of the last human survivors that are now at war with the mutant dinosaurs. The game was developed by Systemic Reaction and had an early access release in October of 2020 for Windows and next-gen Xbox consoles. And I know this video is meant to covered dinosaur games that were never made, and out of everything we've covered so far, this one did end up getting some sort of release. But it was still in active development because it was an early access release, so I'm willing to bend the rules a little bit for that reason. Especially because it, unfortunately, would stay in early access as it was announced late last year that the creators would be ceasing development on the game. On the website, they would update fans of the game with newsletters, one of which was posted on October 16th, 2020. 2023. Their reason was stated in the post, which says, As you may recall, we initially planned to launch the 1.0 version late last year, but the discovery of a few critical issues forced us to pull back close to the release. Unfortunately, it became clear that our small team lacked the resources necessary to hit our quality targets and exit early access and game preview, and the investment needed to do so was too large for us to bear. After evaluating our options and working during this year to find other potential potential solutions, this became the reality our team had to face. The newsletter continues, saying the game would be removed from being purchased on all storefronts, but servers would still be up and active for those who already bought the game. But these servers are planned to be shut down sometime this year. Had the goals for the game been fully reached, there were going to be a few new elements added to it like a new savanna map, new enemies, and new enemy variants, which was apparently going to include the game's first flyer, simply called the Dactyl, but there was also an image of a Therizinosaurus that was posted alongside the final newsletter on the site, which actually doesn't look too bad. I know a lot of people weren't too crazy about this game, but in my opinion, it's a shame that it shut down. Personally, I feel like the concept of a dinosaur apocalypse is already scarce enough in media, and if there was one format where it would be fun to explore that concept, it's a video game. But I suppose it was always going to be a difficult ride for Second Extinction, considering it was a shooter which is a very saturated market in gaming. Regardless, hopefully something of a similar nature might come along sometime in the future, but I wouldn't hold my breath for Second Extinction. Mesozoicide Mesozoicide is a very obscure example of a dinosaur game that was never made. The only mention I can actually find of it is on IndieDB, which is a site dedicated for video game developers to be able to chat and talk about their projects. And even with its mention on here, information is very scarce. According to the description of the game, Mesozoicide was meant to be a first-person dinosaur survival horror about an elite task force that are sent to an island containing live dinosaurs. The game was meant to be similar similar in gameplay to something like Dead by Daylight, where one person plays as the dinosaur that's meant to hunt down the other players, who can each take the role of one of five classes of human characters, who then have to follow certain tasks to complete the mission without getting hunted and killed by the dinosaur. Looking further in the page, there were programmer job offerings for Mesozoicide that gave more information about the game. According to the description, it states, a survival horror game about dinosaurs that is inspired from old school survival horror horror games back in the PSX era such as the original Resident Evil and Dino Crisis. It brings back fixed camera angles and tank controls to harken back to a classic era of survival horror. Play solo or with up to three friends and investigate a facility off the coast of New Zealand that has been bringing extinct animals back from the dead for scientific purposes. But there's something larger at play behind the scenes. Apparently the game was planned to be developed by an indie company called Molten Cherry, though I couldn't really find much with that name outside of what's been said about it on NDDB. Apparently, they created another horror game called Black Friday. Also, couldn't really find much on that either. The game was going to run on Unity, and its estimated release date was set to be sometime in 2018. 
And finally, the only visual references we have of this game are a few pieces of concept art, some of which depict some of the game's would-be settings, one piece that showcases one of the characters that would have possibly featured in the game, and lastly, we have the game's cover art with a dinosaur's eye peering through some vegetation. Unfortunately, there's no actual piece that showcases what the dinosaurs in the game would have looked like, but that's to be expected considering it seems development ceased very early on, as there's really no other information about the game, including a definitive reason why it was cancelled. But really, when it comes to these kinds of indie games, cancellation is always a high possibility, because more times than not, these projects are more of a side gig for people who likely have full-time jobs or other responsibilities to tend to. So their focus are not always on their side projects, and as a result, they often get tossed to the wayside. Or hell, maybe they just weren't that invested into it in the first place. And there you have it, a small list of scrap dinosaur games. You hate to see it, but the list for them is actually pretty long, and I haven't even scratched the surface of just how many cancelled dinosaur games there have been in the past. This could easily be its own series on the channel, so if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you have any other examples of cancelled dinosaur games, don't hesitate to comment them down below as well. And of course, before we end this video, I just want to thank all of my Patreon members for their continuous support towards my channel. Thank you to Blindberg, Eric, Julian, Galactic Breaker, PD19, Studio DM Wing, Darwinius, Ghost Medic, Gambit, Greasy Pulsating Frog, and Inquisitor Zarius. You're all amazing. That's pretty much all I have to say for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and please, have a nice day.